So far, we've looked at the 14 verses that God says he put patterns in the Bible and that we're to search them out. We did a summary of the first 32 very quickly. We looked at signs, we looked at wonders, and we did a review. Today and over the next several days, we're going to take the first 32 in intricate detail. Now, you may have to get somebody from STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, or Mathematics, to explain some of this to you. Because I want you to understand, we're not just pulling these probabilities out of a hat. In fact, let me give you the equation. It looks scary, it sounds scary, scary, but it's really not. You can look at it in uh, uh, the Bible in the Bible.com slash probability.php. Let me just read it. it it's kind of long. Uh, left print. Uh, let me get here. K is the times occurring out of N tries with T possibilities. So you have K, N, and T. Left print N factorial over left print K factorial, left print N minus K, right print, right print factorial, right right print, right print, left print, left print, 1 over t, right print, to the k, right print, left print, left print, 1 minus, left print, 1 over t, right print, right print, to the left print, n minus k, right print, right print. Okay, I know that sounds complicated, but to anybody in STEM, that's a very standard way of calculating when you're given those three variables. And everything on the web page, that's how we calculate. You go to probability.php and you can, you can put in any three numbers you want. Or you can look at prob.php and you can see the results for the first 32 and some others. Well, let me read you uh, Genesis 1.1. In the beginning was the first word. Created is the second word. God is the third word. The fourth word is unpronounceable. The heavens is the fifth word, and is the sixth word. The earth is the seventh word. Let me let me just read you what letters those are. The first word is Beit Resh Aleph Shin Yod Tav. The second word is Beit Resh Aleph. The third word is Aleph Lamed Hey Yod Mem. The fourth word is Aleph Tav, first and last letters. The fifth word is Hey Shin Mem Yod Mem. The sixth word is Vav Aleph Tav. The seventh word is He Aleph Resh Tadei. I'm not sure about the pronunciation. Now let's just start with number one. Okay, the first, the first sentence is seven words. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth in Hebrew. In Hebrew. Okay, that's, if you plug in the numbers, one, one, and seven, for K, N, and T, is you, seven. You know, that's just a straightforward calculation. If you take that entire equation and you plug in 1, 1, and 7, you'll get 1 and 7. Okay, now let's take uh, 2 through 8. Uh, okay, these things are evenly divisible by 7. All the letters, 28. The first 3, 14. The first 5 words, 21. The last 4, 14. The last two, seven. The middle and left is seven. And the middle right is seven. Now, some people would just take those one, two, three, four, five, six, those seven things and take seven to the seven. Well, that's not how it works. That, that, that's like saying, you know, you have to roll the exact same dice that I rolled. No, you just have to roll the same number of snake eyes. So you, you don't just take seven to the seven. That'd be a really big number. You take the K, N, and T in the equation I told you, and K is 7, N is 28, and T is 7, uh, and you get 1 in 10. So there's, of those seven things occurring, 2 through 8, those seven things occurring, you have a 1 in 10 chance. So, now so far, you know, that could have happened by chance. It's only 1 in 70. It could have just been the roll of the dice. Uh, when when uh, Moses wrote Genesis 1 1, he could have just inadvertently had a 1 in 70 occurrence. That's true. It could happen. 
Uh, Moses could have done it on purpose. He, he had a lot of flexibility in the beginning. Remember, this is thousands of years ago. This is when the Hebrew language was just starting out. And if you look in the Bible, you know, the same word is spelled multiple ways. So he had a lot of flexibility. So he, he could have deliberately made those first eight items divisible by seven. He could have fairly easily done it. But when you take the totality of all hundred patterns, he could not possibly have done it. Even if he had an IQ of a gigaplex. And a gigaplex, you think Google's big. Giggle is bigger, and Giggle Plex is bigger than that. Okay, he did not have that high of IQ. <laughs> okay. Moses could have done the first eight, for example, but not all hundred. And then let's just do the next four for nouns. Uh, the, the nouns, uh, words of three, five, and seven, God, the heavens, the earth, uh, has 14 letters. The noun's value is seven, seven, seven. God's most holy number. The place value is 147, which is evenly divisible by 7, and non-nouns is 14. So if you take the uh, uh, K-N-N-T, it's 1, uh, 1,128 and 7 to the fourth power. It's 1 in 20. So for the nouns to have those four possibilities, you don't just take 7 to the fourth power, which is a really big number. Okay. That, that's not the way we're doing this. We're doing this that the probability of any roles being the same. For the nouns, those four things is one in 20. Uh, tomorrow we'll continue.